The question we are going to answer for you today is, what is the best advice for first-time home buyers? That's a good question, Alan. You know, a lot of times when we talk to first-time home buyers, there's a lot of things they don't know, obviously, because they never bought a home before. And this process could be, become overwhelmed because there's a lot of important factors. You're buying one of the largest investments in your lifetime. Yeah, and I know for experience, before I got into real estate, when I first bought a home, it was overwhelming. I didn't know the steps from point A to point B. Yes, but obviously one of the most important factors, in my opinion, is understanding the financial side of buying a oh, yes. home for buyers. Yeah, very important. And that entails, obviously, one of the important factors is down payment. That's something that everybody hears, the down payment. Down payment makes a big difference when you're buying a home. Some banks, obviously, when you talk about first-time home buyer programs, normally could do as low as 3%, uh, in some cases 3.5, in some cases 0%. Obviously, if you're doing buying a home that is around 300000 and you do the 3% down payment, you're looking at $9,000, yeah. versus if you could qualify for a program that is 100% financing, which is zero down, you don't have to pay that nine thousand dollars, so that would even make better. a lot of money <laughs> exactly. and easier. But also keep in mind that there's also the earnest money that you have to come up with, which is normally one percent of the purchase price. And this scenario would be three thousand yeah. dollars. So that will be you know addition that you have to come up with on the front to have, plus also that to have money when it comes to do the inspection also. So those are factors to understand, and obviously there's a lot to understand when it comes to the financial side, uh, but you know, it is important factor to know how much money you have saved and, and what type of program you're using. Yeah, and another important factor, Gamalier, has to be your credit score, right? It is. So the FICO <laughs> score is what we refer to it as, and it's a range from 300 on the low end to 850 on the higher end. So when you're applying for a loan, most lenders are usually looking for a credit score right around 620 and up, right? Yes. But if you want to get in some of the best programs out there, you want to shoot for at least 680 or higher. Yes. And so it is very important to know where you, your credit score stands so, and there's a lot of sites you can check out to determine where your credit score is before you even apply for a loan. But if your credit score is on the lower end, you know, we can point you in the right direction for you to correct that credit score in order to get it to improve to a higher score. A lower credit score in the long run will cost you more when it comes to getting a loan approved. It really does, Alan. And obviously, don't let that be a hurdle yeah. of buying a home. If your score is slow, you go always, there's things you could do to repair that credit. Or like Alan mentioned, there's also companies that will help you boost that credit score to allow you to buy a home. So one thing over, over years that I've seen is a lot of people get hold back either because they don't, have, they don't think they have enough money to buy a home or they, don't, they, they, they believe or think or do have bad credit. So don't let those things hold you back from buying a home, but the most important factor and advice that I give buyers when it comes to buying a home is to make sure they work with professional, experienced realtor. When you're working with professional, experienced realtor, they could help you to make the whole transaction smoothly and easier, but also they could point you out uh, to some vendors and help that you may need to make oh, yeah. that goal accomplished of buying a home. Yeah, I mean, if you're looking to get a home inspector, we'll direct you to mm -hmm. a really good home inspector, and we'll also provide some good lenders to you as well. Uh, lenders that will suit your needs for what you're looking for when it comes to buying a home. And when it comes to buying, uh, we work primarily here all through the metro Atlanta area, but we also have a network of realtors all through the United States, yeah. in including the Caribbean also. So if you're somebody who's thinking about sell, uh, you know, selling a home or buying a home, or investing into a home, give us a call. We could definitely help you out here to Metro Atlanta area or refer you to somebody in your side. All right, thank you for watching. Remember to click like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll talk to you next time. Thank you and have a great day.